Authorities in the U.S. state of Oklahoma have released video of a white reserve sheriff deputy fatally shooting a black man after apparently mistaking his gun for his taser. The video filmed on April 2 in Tulsa shows Eric Harris, 44, chased and brought to ground before he is shot. Prosecutors are to decide whether to charge the deputy. It follows a series of high-profile shootings of black men by white U.S. police officers. The video was released on the request of the victim's family after an investigation. Mr. Harris was accused of trying to sell an illegal gun to an undercover officer in a sting operation. In the footage, a gunshot is heard and a man says, Oh, I shot him. I'm sorry. Authorities have identified the man as 73-year-old Reserve Deputy Robert Bates and said that he meant to use his stun gun. Mr. Harris is heard calling out he shot me, he shot me and says he is losing his breath as he is pinned down. A voice dismisses the complaint using an expletive. He was treated at the scene but died later in hospital. Investigator Jim Clark, described by Tulsa police as a consultant for the Tulsa County Sheriff, said Mr. Bates believed he was holding a taser and intended to incapacitate Mr. Harris when the fatal shot was fired. He added that Mr. Bates had suffered a high-stress phenomenon called slips and capture in which a person's behavior slips off the intended course of action because it is captured by a stronger response. Results of his investigation have been turned over to prosecutors, who will decide whether to file criminal charges. Reserve deputies are generally volunteers, often with other full-time jobs. Mr. Bates is an insurance company executive. The LA Times reports that Mr. Harris has previous convictions including assault on a police officer. Mr. Harris's family asked for the video, filmed on a glasses-mounted camera, to be released. They described him as sweet, nice, forgiving and someone who would do anything for anybody. Last week Walter Scott, an unarmed 50-year-old, was shot in the back and killed after he was stopped for a suspected traffic offense. Last year, the deaths of Michael Brown in Ferguson and Eric Garner in New York sparked national protests.